Hey everyone, welcome to another update of my 75 gallon saltwater reef tank from Primo Reef. Um, this update is going to be another version or I guess part 2 for my ammonia. It's been... oh crap. Um, if you follow along with the last date, I think it's been just over 8 days. Um, don't hold me to it please, um, I will correct it on my next video, sorry for that. I didn't do the proper calendar calculation. Um, so what's happening in the tank is that uh, so far it's been 8 to 10 days um, since the cycle has been started from day 1 from adding the salt uh, plus the rocks in there and adding the shrimp. Um, I want to show you a little update on the shrimp. My first shrimp that I had in there, there's two now. The first one I had in there, it's pretty much all disappeared and all dissolved. Um, yeah, it's pretty much gone so I did add, it, uh, add another shrimp in there. Again, these shrimps weren't too big. Uh, I would say roughly about two inches, uh, inch and a half to two inches long um, from head to tail. Uh, sorry, just the tail section. But um, overall, I'm um, just aquascaping quickly. I'm just going to point out I added another rock there. Um, this is held on by the epoxy, the two part epoxy. So um, it's like a clay type. You mix it in. And it hardens within a little bit of time. Um, again, once again, also over here, it made another ledge. Um, but anyways, that's going to be covered in another video. So I want to show you guys what's happening here. My salinity level, if I can focus into it. There we go. Is that better? There we go, guys. So it's just about 0 point, uh, 1.025, uh, just peaking just over that. Um, I'm going to maintain that. Uh, I have to add a little bit of water in the tank due to evaporation. Um, hopefully in the future I'm going to get an auto top off. I'm just going to solve the problems with that. And another update I wanted to give you was I did a test. Uh, by the way, welcome this everybody. Welcome and meet to my 20 gallon. Um, 20 gallon, meet the YouTubers. Now this is just a holding tank for my corals, don't have anything spectacular in there, frog spawn, purple head, um, what else do I have in there, the green star polyp, and this is I believe a tri flame anemone, which was purchased about a month and a half ago from a local uh, anemone dealer, private dealer, so he sells all high end anemones. Uh, this one here, apparently it's worth uh, almost $200 and Diver's Den but, and some Monty caps and everything and they've been running off my LEDs so as you can see the growth is uh, it's it's up there. Um, here we go, saltwater test. So I got uh, the four levels of tests going on here. Uh, starting with the pH. Again, the camera is not doing too much of a justice. But the pH from my eyes, you're looking, uh, let me turn on this light. Okay, the pH there, you're looking at uh, a reading of about 8.0, which is not really okay. I'm going to have to increase that level a little bit with a pH buffer. I have one by Kent. Uh, you mix it in two, two, two teaspoons according to what you have, and you mix it in, and you're, whoop -de -doo, you're good to go. As for ammonia, I'm really happy. I think this ammonia is taking a spike. From the looks of it, my ammonia is at 0 0.50 ppm, parts per million. So that's NH3 um, slash NH4. This kit that I have here, it is by API. So it's not giving me a 110% correct reading on this, but overall it gives you a more or less average. Where is it here? It's, so it's, it's around there. Um, now guys, uh, if you have a question for you guys, um, is ammonia supposed to exceed up to 8.0 parts per million, or is it just going to swing high enough to be in one of these ranges? So give me your feedback on that. Yeah, is it supposed to go all the way, or is it supposed to go all the way down? I have the test kit, I'll be testing um, every two days from now. So I hadn't had the test kit for a while, I was at my buddy's house. Um, what I'm going to do is test every day now. The first eight, eight to ten days I didn't have it, so I couldn't test it. So I don't know if the level already spiked and now it's going low, or is it now starting to increase? I'll give you another shot on my tank and showing you 
No diatoms, no nothing growing, no algae, no cyano, nothing. But uh, so ammonia, I'm sitting at about 0 0.50 parts per million to in between 1.0 parts per million. Nitrites, 0 parts per million. Nitrate, it's obviously 0. Well, where am I pointing? Nitrates is 0. So the only thing spiking in my tank, guys, it is my ammonia. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad that the cycle has finally started properly. Now, this is the thing with all you guys who want to keep your dry rock in your tank. The process takes longer. It's not going to be any easier at all. Unless you have live rock, which, you're, which can kickstart your system in, in roughly the first week. Dry war, dry rock takes a it takes a while. So what else was I gonna cover? So uh, yeah, that's about it. So again, ammonia spiking. I'll give you another quick update when uh, the my nitrites are going high and then my nitrates. And so just to follow along, this is update part two of the reef tank cycle, the ammonia stage. If you guys have any recommendations, please do let me know. And uh, as for the previous comments in my other video, I want to thank everybody for all your comments, all your subscriptions. Please follow along. It will be uh, another update.